Right, so if you click on any of the affiliated links that you can access on my website, uh, YouTube videos, blog, uh, etc. Uh, for the Synchro Team 14-day free trial, over here you just need to put in all of your information and then uh, you can choose a subdomain. So it will be, as they have in their example here, mycompany.com syncroteam.com but you can you can call this anything you want as your own subdomain uh, but obviously it has to be available for them to issue that subdomain or allocate that subdomain to you right so i'm just quickly going to fill in this information and then i'm going to hit the sign me up button All right, so once you register, you'll end up on this uh, confirmation page. Yes, so over here, it confirms your subdomain. So this will be the link that you will access your new Synchro Team portal. And then uh, they will send you an email with your default admin password. So we'll have to go through to our email account and just get that details. And then we can go to this subdomain URL for Synchro Team and we can sign into our portal. So let's do that. Right, so this is what the email looks like. And there is a button or link that you can click on here to take you to the portal to complete the registration process. So let's do that. Okay, so this is where we can now um, set up our login information. All right, so once we've got this set up, we will hit the button for step two. And on this step, we need to add at least one technician. So the administrator on this account will be the one configuring the actual portal, we can set up all of your forms and your jobs, uh, etc. So all the configuration is done by the administrator. And then the technicians will be uh, obviously the ones in the field that utilize the Syncrety mobile app to close our jobs and complete job reports. So to start off, we need to set up the technician. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so once I've got the technician details captured, uh, I've also set a default password for this technician. We can then hit the button and go to step three. Okay, so this takes us to the final step of this registration process where we can set up some of the default settings for this account. So let's quickly set up our uh, country dialing code and then you can select your preference of how you want the various date formats to display and you can set up your time zone all right and then we have just some basic settings here for how you want uh, your currencies and numbers to display i'm not going to change any of that and then we have the actual business address or location uh, of your business and this is a mandatory field so we will just quickly put that in here as well We then have a selection on how we want the address to display. I'm not changing that. And then we can hit the finish button. Okay, and there we go. We are now in the Synchro Team Administrator portal. So this is the first page that will show up. Now, when you do register for the free trial, there are some sample jobs that are created by default so that you can uh, just get a feel of how this all works, uh, play around with those jobs. We can obviously create some other test jobs, uh, but it does come out of the box with some examples already in the system. Right, so let's look at the Synchro Team interface. Right, so what we have at the top of the page here are some menu options to help you navigate the system. It opens up on the schedule. So this is an easy way for you to see what jobs are scheduled and you can break this down by day, week, or month, depending on what you're trying to achieve. So as we can see here, uh, the current view we see over here is for the week. We can change this to a month view or day view, or however we want to display the jobs for the day. So let's just stick to the day view, and we can see here we have a job scheduled this morning uh, at TD Bank in Delray Beach, and then we have another job scheduled a little bit later on this morning and one this afternoon and it looks like there's another one further down later this evening 
Let's see if I click on any of these jobs, this little pop-up appears, gives me a little bit more detail, shows me the scheduled time for this job, the status of the job, the technician that is assigned to the job, and then uh, what type of job this is. This is just a standard job, which is a default uh, job category in the system when you first set it up. And then there's an option here to add a description to the job, which will show up over here. So this is just that example job. Um, and I can unschedule the job right from this pop-up. Another cool feature is the app option to drag and drop these jobs. So if you wanted to change the time, then we would just drag that up. The little pop-up shows up to say that this job has now been saved. And the technician with the Synchro Team app, they will then see the update on their end. You can see these are color-coded. And we can see here we are uh, scheduled the light gray, a little bit darker gray would be the it's synchronized. Now, synchronized means that whatever updates you made on the portal in the admin section or manager section, uh, it, these updates will then be sent to the mobile app that the technicians are using. And once that occurs, it will show that it's been synchronized. So at least you know uh, these jobs have been synchronized. So that's why they have a darker gray color over here. Now on the technician side, once they select a job and actually start doing the work, they have the various statuses that they can set the job at. So they will start off by saying the job's been started. So that, that is when this will change to this green color. And you will see that the job has been started. They can pause a job, either they're taking a break or they might be waiting for parts or the customer is not available or for whatever reason they're not able to continue the work at that stage they can hit pause and then once they are ready to uh, continue the work they can hit resume and it will go back to the started uh, status so that that gives you the ability to track the actual work time uh, time at location so the technician will manage those to there when they are done they can mark it as completed and then on the administrator side or your schedulers, uh, your management team supervisors, they will go into the admin portal over here and they can then review the job, look at the report that was submitted, uh, you know, any details that were captured by the technician, photos, etc. And then once uh, they finished up with whatever required workflow they need to follow, they can check off or change the status to validate it. All right, so that's just an overview of the schedule view that we have over here. The purpose of this video is to give you a quick overview on how to set up your Synchro Team portal. So I won't be spending a lot of time going through all of the menu options. I will just point out some of the, the key features and then we'll jump straight into configuring the actual system. So we have the calendar view of all of the jobs. There's a map view over here. So this does require your technicians to have the option turned on to record their location on the mobile devices because that is configurable and optional. If they do have that turned on and you do have the location data in the jobs, you'll be able to see where the jobs are. As you can see over here, again, color coded, and we can see where the office is. And then when the technicians locations are turned on, you'll be able to see where they are in proximity to the jobs as well. It does have a CRM function. So this is a pretty cool feature that Synchro Team provides where you can manage your uh, customer contact details. So you can add customers in and uh, each customer can have multiple sites, which are the locations of those or various locations that technicians might have to go to. So you can add multiple sites allocated to a customer and then within the sites, you can add equipment. So you'll have uh, multiple pieces of equipment allocated to sites, allocated to a customer. Uh, the equipment would be things like machinery or IT equipment like printers, any items or assets that technicians might work on. You can add those to your sites and to your customers. And that provides valuable reporting to see what equipment's been worked on, when it was worked on, who worked on it. It helps you track your warranties and have a record of how many times or when last you worked on something. So you do have the contact information, phone number, you can add tags as well, which will help for your reporting and filtering. I'll quickly touch on the projects here. So 
uh, with instant group team as you can see on the right here we have a job section it functions on the concept of creating jobs and assigning those jobs to technicians but you also have the option of creating a project where you can have multiple jobs allocated to a project and you can track the progress of that project and all associated jobs so pretty neat feature but i'm not going to go into too much detail on this video right so we'll move over to jobs so here we do see those four example jobs that were created from here you can click on the job and you can view the details of the job you can edit the job delete cancel and then if the job's been closed out and your technician has provided the report then you have the option to print or email the report or download the pdf All right so if we open up the details page All right so here we can update the information on this page uh, there's various in We'll be able to access the report once it's been completed. We can see if any parts or services were allocated or used on this job. All right, and then we've got the quote and invoice sections here as well. Okay, and then over here we have an action drop down. So we can go into actually editing this job. There's some other features here like duplicating it or creating a project, cancel and delete. If we go into the edit view, we have a little bit more access to this job to change the job type, the report template, which will be the template the technician will use to capture information when they complete the job or during the job. So you can change the report template over here or any other information related to this job, right? So that's the edit job function. So let's go back to jobs and you can access that same menu from here as well. The job lists are automatically filtered by jobs for the day, for the week, for the month. Late would mean that the job was actually scheduled for a date prior to today. So if any jobs were missed and not completed, you can go to the late tab over here and those will show up. To schedule would be jobs that do not have technicians assigned to them yet. So you will be able to see that list and then schedule those jobs. Upcoming or future jobs. Uh, then any issues or recurring and incidents uh, some more categories that you can filter these jobs on depending on how they were created or updated all right so the final sections over here i'm not going to go into too much detail we have contracts and invoicing some pretty cool features that that come with your synchro team setup and then we have the reporting side where you can report on all of the jobs uh, pending or completed. You can even build some of your own custom reports with your own queries to list these ports, export them to CSV or view them in your portal. Right there on the right, we have a quick summary over here to say we have one job that's late. Let's just click on that link. We can see there's a job that is late. So we need to actually reschedule this job. Here we can see this was scheduled for this morning at 8 a.m. It is now already 11. So I could either go back to my calendar view and drag the job to a new time. I can click on here and say, we want to reschedule the job. It's going to bring up our scheduling window. And I'm going to say, let's do this job then. Um, let's do this job tomorrow. Let's reschedule this for tomorrow morning. I still want to use this technician. If I wanted to change that technician, we would be able to do that over here. So we've changed the job till tomorrow and we're going to hit save. And now if I go to upcoming, we will see that job now showing up for tomorrow. So that's how easy it is to see that something needs to be updated and how quickly you can update those jobs. The technician will get the update on their mobile phone. All right, awesome. So that's just a fairly quick overview of the interface. All right, so the main purpose of this video is then to show you how to configure or what you can configure in your new Synchro Team instance once you've signed up for the 14 day trial. So in the top right hand corner over here, you will see the gear icon. And this is where you can go in and configure everything related to your instance. So, you so many of these menu items are just shortcuts to certain blocks within the options or configuration. So if we click on more, it takes us to a consolidated menu of all of the various options you can configure. And there's obviously many ways to approach this, but what I like to do is actually start off with the emails section and just review these options over here. Any emails going out from Synchro Team, either to your technicians, to your customers, you can configure 
over here. So for the job report, so this is the report that the technician completes. Once the job has been finished, you can select a template for the subject. So you can change this uh, to anything you want. It does use placeholders. All right, so here we have a placeholder for the actual job number. So you can add placeholders for any of the fields or values of the jobs into your subject or even the bodies. So for example, if I wanted to add some other information in here, like let's say the, the job type, or maybe I want to add in the actual description, perhaps the customer. So these are all the placeholders. That I can add in there and then you can obviously put some free text in here as well to construct a proper message okay so I'm just going to move over to the other tab same goes for the invoicing so when emails go out with invoices you can set up your template message templates over here quotes and then the tab I want to get to is the final one your default sender and recipient so this is where you can set up the email address that will be sending out these messages so i want all of my emails to go out from my default email address so we'll put that in over here we'll save that so now we know the emails will go out with that all right the next thing that we want to go in is think about the different jobs that we want to assign so all right so with the jobs we have the concept of the job that will be assigned to a job type so as i mentioned earlier this could be installation maintenance warranty etc each job type is associated with a job report which is the report the technician will close up at the end of the job the best way that i find to do this is, is to actually work this backwards so we're going to start off with the job report template so what do we want these technicians to capture when they're doing the jobs we do have a standard job template over here which we can go and modify to what we want it to be and we can create additional ones so let's just say we will have a installation um, job type uh, we can then decide from all of our job types which ones would be the default one so if you create a job you don't select a report it's going to use the default one so let's just leave the standard one as default at the moment so we're not going to change any of that so let's hit the add button so we're going to now add the installation job report template. All right, so here we are. So it gives us this blank page, and now we can start setting up this job report template. All right, so the first thing is to add a new category. So let's just call this installation details. Now, from here, we can add all types of custom fields. So when our technician does an installation, we want to capture things like, let's say something like the serial number. We would like them to capture that. So let's just select a text field. We can indicate whether it's mandatory. So yes, we do want to capture the serial number every time they close us out. Is this a private field? And that these are fields that the technician will complete that won't show up on the report to the customer. And then uh, we have conditional fields. So this is where you can set up uh, whether fields should be displayed based on previous field selection. So for example, you have something that says, is this job under warranty? And it's a drop down for yes or no. If they select yes, then other fields show up uh, based on these conditions to allow the technician to capture additional information regarding that. So let's just add another failure to show equipment photo and over here we would like this to be a photo again it is required add and that's how you can just create all of the custom fields for your technician to complete so now we have the installation job report type we have some custom fields we are ready to actually publish this so we'll hit the publish button and if we go back to our job report list we now have a standard job report we have installations so if i go into the standard job report you will see we have some default fields that were on that were added by the system so we have a job complete yes or no drop down and some notes so you can add as many job report templates as you want but we're just going to run with these two for now all right so then i want to go back to settings now that we have job report templates set up for the technician now i want to go to the job types 
there is a standard job type that was created by Synchro Team when you signed up for the trial. And, and we are going to add a, another one called installation, right? The default time for an installation is maybe three hours. And this is why we wanted to create the job report before we do the job types, because over here, we can now select the job report that's associated with this job type. And we can set that up over here. We can choose a priority. So this is high priority for scheduling. With new installations mean money. So we can set that up as a high priority. And then we have things like skilled trades. So you might have different technicians that take care of different jobs. So with uh, that, you can utilize skills. So you might need uh, an installation skill. So any technicians of that skill would be able to be assigned to this job. So we can utilize skills as well. And then uh, we're not going to change the default option here. So there we go. Now I have a job type. So we've got the report set up. We have the job type set up. So let's close that out. Right, so that's the basic configuration to get started. So we have our email configured. We have our job reports, job types configured. And now we can go ahead and create some users within the platform. We already have our administrator and we have our technician you can go and add additional technicians and administrators as needed and then uh, the teams this is where you can create your various teams so let's just create a team here called team a or installation team whatever you want to call that you can add some tags to this it's going to help with your reporting and the rest of the logic in here but let's put technician one is part of this team you can also select which manager has access to this team to schedule their jobs. So we only have one at the moment, so we will just leave it like that. So there we have our team set up. So that manager, if it was someone else, would be able to sign into the admin portal and schedule jobs for uh, any of the technicians or jobs assigned to their team, and they won't be able to access any jobs assigned to any of the other teams. All right, so there we go. We've got the report template set up, the job type set up. We have our team set up. We've got a technician. So we are basically ready to roll just with some of the basic configuration. Uh, all of the rest of these things can all be configured and you can play around with those to learn more. You can now go to jobs and we can say, right, we would like to create a new job. And this job is going to be for, we didn't actually set up any customers yet so I'm going to just say I would like to set up a job for this it's going to search there are no sites for this so let's just make this the headquarters site so I can click that over here do we have any equipment that this is going to work on and let's just say we're going to work on the AC we can put the full address of this customer in here the contact details and we can save this job all right, so then under the job details, this is where we can now say what kind of job is this. It's an installation job. You'll see it by default, we'll select the report template that we set up. We can add any skilled trade for this job. The priority can be updated and we can add a description for the technician. So we'll just say, please fix the AC and then we can save this job uh, or we can save and immediately go to the schedule section you also have the option of putting down some schedule preferences so if there's certain dates or teams that are preferred you can set this up over here so the schedulers know how to schedule this job going forward so let's just save and open so we'll save this job and it'll then open it up in the details view that we saw earlier on All right, so now we can access the job over here All right and now you'll see the job status over here just says created all right and then from here if i click on schedule it opens up the little pop-up so we can say we want technician one to take care of this job and we are looking at doing this tomorrow as well let's make this just tomorrow i can even add auxiliary technicians if i would like to do that so let's just save that schedule all right there we go so the next status on this job will be start and that is what the technician will actually do on the app although you can do it from the portal as well so there we have our first own job scheduled using the new job category and report template that we set up all right so here we have a high priority job for acme hq for the ac so there you can see the site and the equipment listed over here the address the technician that signed up all right so this is just a overview of signing up for your Synchro Team trial and setting up some of the basic features.
Thank you for watching.